Wes and Katie Hansen are your typical married couple. Wes, 33, owns a pool construction company and Katie, 30, works in sales. They're expecting their first child in December and enjoying the simple things before they become a family of three. This summer, they attended a Garth Brooks concert in Los Angeles, and the experience was anything but ordinary. The day before the show, Katie had a gender ultrasound to determine the baby's sex. We had a random joking moment, Wes says, where we said, how cool would it be if we could get Garth to reveal the gender at the concert, never thinking it would possibly happen. Well, it happened. When I brought it up, my wife got all excited and made a sign, he says. But then we got into the venue and Katie said, let's just open the envelope with the baby's gender, I wanna see it, this isn't ever going to happen. But then, the roles were reversed. At first, I was the pessimistic one, Wes explains. I was initially telling her not to get her hopes up. But when we got to the show, I wound up holding the sign and putting it up throughout the concert, hoping Garth would see it. When he came to our side, sure as hell, he happened to see it. Before closing his concerts, Garth does housekeeping, during which he comes out on stage, looks at signs throughout the crowd and takes song requests. Wes and Katie's bright yellow sign caught his eye. It read, working on a full house, girl? Boy. And that's when the once-in-a-lifetime moment happened for the couple. I saw this sign earlier tonight, Garth said to the crowd. I don't think it's a song request, I've been trying to figure it out all night. He pulled Katie and Wes to the side of the stage, took the envelope from Katie and said, According to Wes, I'm so excited for you because I have three of these and they mean everything to me. That's when the lights inside the venue all turned pink. When he said that, Wes recalls, we knew it was a girl because Garth has three daughters. Garth then promised to pay for the baby's college education if he's still around to do so. For him to say that, Wes continues, there are no words to describe it. This is one of those things you hear about online, we just happen to be the ones living it this time, it's totally crazy. So, what's the baby's name going to be? We joked before the show that if Garth pulled us up on stage, we would name the baby Brooks, girl, or boy, Wes explains. Katie said, if this happens, I'm in. So that's what we're going with. This story will certainly be told many times as baby Brooks grows up, but if the Hansons have another baby, will they be able to top this A-list gender reveal? Not according to Wes. We feel kinda bad for our next kid, he laughs. We don't know what we're gonna do. Garth Brooks is known for his generosity during shows. In July, he and Trisha Yearwood bought wedding gifts for a Louisiana couple who held up a sign serving as a wedding invitation. He also sang to an 89-year-old fan in Lafayette holding a sign that said, Elvis was my last concert. Garth and Trisha's tour wraps up this fall.